What's going on? Welcome back to Splunk 3. In today's task, we will be, or oh, today's video, we will be going over task 4, which is about investigating crypto mining activities. Now, for every question you're given, actually the total is around 4 to 5 questions, 6 questions in total, and um, you're given um, guidance to answer every question. Uh, the guidance objective is to guide you how to find the answer, not to uh, not to give you the answer directly. So, basically, let's first read the guidance for the first question. So, the first question and the second question. The guidance here is when you search for the answer, is to try some keywords related to the processor information. And here we're looking at the CPU utilization. So, if you go to the the question. A frothly endpoint exhibits signs of coin mining activity. So there is a workstation in your company or in the work frothly environment that is exhibiting signs of coin mining activity, meaning that there is a software downloaded at the machine that is performing crypto mining or there is uh, a web activity on the browser of the target machine. Sometimes the coin mining activity, as we will see in this scenario, happens right at the browser. You don't need to download any software. What is the name of the second process? To reach 100% CPU processor utilization time from this activity on this endpoint. So a sign that uh, you have a crypto mining activity in your workstation is 100% CPU utilization. Not all the time, but 100% CPU utilization is one factor that indicates that there is a coin mining activity in the workstation. So here we're talking about 100% CPU processor utilization time. So we need to use that to find the answer or the name of the process in Splunk. So if we go to Splunk and let me first grab the command and I will tell you how I found it like every time. So the first thing we utilize the source type. The source type here is performance monitor process. So in the source types, if you go to source types like every time, you will find all the source types that you can use. For the sake of the scenario, we will be using the performance monitor processor source type uh, or as a source type since we would like to find information about the processes. So if we only hit enter or hit search with this command, we will be presented with all the fields on the right, on the left side, that we can use when we use uh, the when utilizing process when utilizing this source type. I don't have to repeat the same name every time. So basically, we have here the fields. Uh, we have to search or look for the field that is about the CPU utilization time. So as you can see, processor CPU used percent. If you click on that, we have different values. The values that is uh, uh, that interest us is the hundred percent. If you click on that, now the search is narrowed down to those processes that consumed hundred percent of the CPU of the target machine or the target, uh, you know, host machine, computer, endpoint, workstation, client, whatever. So here, if we look again, scroll down look for processes, we see we have four processes that are using 100% of the CPU. But we don't know yet, we're not sure which one of them is the one that is utilizing coin miner. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to get back to the old query. So we use table to display for results display and we use underscore time so that we can sort the time and we choose to display the host, the name of the host, and the process name alongside with the CPU utilization. If we click on search, all right, now if we sort all this to newest, the first one is Microsoft Edge. That is the first process witness to consume 100% of the CPU. The second one is Chrome 5. Now we're concerned here about, we're concerned to find the second process. So which happens to be the Chrome number 5. 
Okay, what is the short name or what is the short host name of the only Frothly endpoint to actually mine Monero cryptocurrency? So here it is asking what is the host name where the crypto mining activity is taking place. So because we chose host or we chose to display the host in the results, we actually got the host name. We can actually get the host name using the same query. So this is the host name. Using Splunk's event order functions, what is the first scene signature ID of the co-miner threat according to Frothly's semantic endpoint protection? So Frothly, they have semantic endpoint protection installed and uh, SAP found the, uh, it has the signature of the uh, co-miner and it has detected that co-miner. Now we need to find out what is the signature ID that triggered the detection mechanism so what we're going to do here and of course we have to utilize event order functions so where is the command let's take it so the first thing let me cancel or delete until here okay so first we use the source type here is semantic and we put column and star indicating that we would like to use all of the available source types that are related or pertaining to semantic. So why we use semantic? It's obvious, pretty ob obvious that we're looking for the because we're looking for the signature ID that triggered the detection of the co miner. Now if we use that query alone and we hit enter we see here you got only you got around twenty thousand events and if you go if you scroll through the interesting fields you can see there is one for signature ID let me check extra more fields I don't think we will find signature ID here because uh, we need to narrow down the results to those uh, that indicate or contain the detection of the threat. So we use coin as a string, enter. So as you can see, the number of events has been narrowed down significantly and dramatically. We have only 46 events, and from the Results, we can see all of these 46 events contain uh, the signature or, or the detection mechanism. As you can see here, we have web attack, JS com miner, com miner, coin miner. So all of these events are related to the detection of the coin miner. And on the left, we can see there is a field here for the signature ID. We got two. Now what we will do here, we will display table time signature ID and also we will put the host okay now let's sort the results all this to newest the first one as you can see the first detection was on this time and the signature ID was three 0356. Now, right after that, we got another one at the same time, the same second, but with different signature ID. Now, if you tried one of them, the correct answer was this one. So that's the signature ID. What is the name of the attack? Okay, we head back to the results. Looking through the events, we see here the web attack is named as GSCombiner Download 8. If you use Google for that, you will arrive at the page. Okay, now first we answer the question and type GSCombiner Download 8. Now the next one, according to Semantics website, what is the severity of this specific combiner threat? So we go to the uh, Broadcom 
which is for semantic and we look at the updates that are talking about these kind of attacks which is which are web attack us combiner all of them they have the severity of medium medium so the severity is medium now last one is kind of interesting what is the short host name of the only frothly endpoint to show evidence of defeating the cryptocurrency threat so we want to find out the host name of the machine that detected the coin miner threat and blocked it okay which means we are talking about the same machine which was covered during uh, or which was which was covered in the question number three we see the signature ID that it detected or triggered the detection mechanism uh, we have to find out the host name okay so if you scroll down at the interesting fields you see here the uh, along the fields we have one host underscore name and the host name is btun hyphen l which is the host name that blocked the attack and that was the answer so these were the answers for the crypto mining events part of this room in the next videos we're gonna go over these tasks i'm covering task by task separately because everyone has different aspects or different concepts to comprehend so yeah that was for today and see you in the next video